<laughs> it's interesting. Do you feel the same way about philosophers often? I mean, it sounds like they're in the same vein. A lot of times it's word fluff and it's it's a uh, dual non dualism or something that is uh, esoteric explanation for reality or this is all consciousness. You said on a previous interview um, that because the person mentioned, oh, we're going to talk about reality. You know, we're back in reality. And you're like, no, physics is reality. Can you explain this of what you mean and how that well, differs? Mean, well, I don't mean physics. I mean, nature. I mean, the world as we empirically measure it. There is nothing else, right? I mean, no, no knowledge comes by revelation. It all comes from empirical evidence and you know, seeing how the world works. And that's it. And, and, and that's the basis of all knowledge. Uh, when you say philosophers, I mean, the point is it depends on the philosopher you're talking to. Right. There's some who just, there's some who just babble words, semantics. But, you know, there are lots of philosophers who try and... The, the philosophy is really... A, we all do philosophy, mm -hmm. but so philosophy is a, a, a rigorous philosophy is a method by of analysis and critical analysis and logical analysis to probe interesting questions. And in fields of science where those questions are not well defined, like say consciousness, philosophy can be quite important because it can frame the important questions. And I, you know, there are philosophers like Dan Dennett who's who's really heavily involved in you know relating to neuroscience. And that was true early on in physics when the questions were ill-defined and, and f the philosophy was, it was called natural philosophy after all. And it was important for setting the stage to the kind of questions that would be relevant to driving the field. But once the field began to mature more, the important questions to physicists are not the ones that philosophers ask. And in order to ask the important questions, you have to have a lot of intellectual baggage. You have to know where, in order to know what the next interesting thing is, you have to know all this stuff that we now know. So it becomes physicists who are asking the questions and, and philosophy really has, has no impact on physics nowadays. That doesn't mean it's unimportant, it just has no impact. Right. And philosophers that... of science, there are philosophers of science and they do serious work, but it doesn't, and it may be laudable work, but it doesn't impact on the, on the development of physics itself.